Oh, we're glad you're still there. Welcome back. Today, the question of the day, we are asking you what memories do you have of the safari rally which gets underway in Ivasha this week? We want to hear from you. SMS lines are open to 422, hashtag Sporty Monday. You can also X us at Citizen TV Kenya at Isaac Swiller, at Jacob BC, at Zita Jimoy. And of course, we will be sampling your feedback at the tail end of this program. So let's get the conversation going through hashtag Sporty Monday. And of course, at the weekend, we saw some fine rugby action, the tries and the scrums, Cabras RFC. The defending champions have sailed through to the Kenya Cup final, aiming to defend their title, while KCB RFC are also out to stop them, of course, after sailing through. That's going to be tight in Kakamega, and we're going to see how it pans out. Kendall, I'll begin with you. I don't know whether you support KCB or Cabras. Cabras, Cabras. Uh, uh, <laughs> what's your prediction? How do you see Antan, this Antan going Randy. down in Kakamega? When the season started, uh, we were talking with Alex, mm -hmm. and I told him, the season has started, but the final will be KCB, Cabras. They stopped uh, KCB and beat and run. They beat them nicely. So I was speaking to Kata Sulago last week and asked him, what lesson did you learn? In the, in, the, uh, in the previous uh, match against the Menengai Oilers. He said, we only made one mistake in that game. Poor ball handling. And we've rectified that and we're going to beat Menengai convincingly. Mm. I told him the dream final for everyone is KCB versus Cabras. It's going to be played at uh, the bull ring. Now, Alex atakuwa shere na Ivasha, but shere ngine nzito pia itakuwa uko kakamega. Itakuwa uko. Actually, you know, Iko six. Okay. But yes. Olago told me one thing. Cabras makes him uh, makes his side uh, I mean the, the way they, they put them on toes. You can't sleep when Cabras are there. So on a quick on toes, they make each other better. And uh, the last game of the season, I think it was a very narrow win for Cabras against KCB. It was a very tight match. I'm expecting that to happen. Uh, during the final. But these two teams, what makes them special and different th from others mm. is the structures they put in place. The way they recruit their players, uh, the way uh, the, the academy. I mean, Kakamega High School, I think, is one of the feeder teams mm. uh, to uh, Cabras RFC. Mm. Uh, KCB2 have very good uh, structures put in place. And I think that's what the, what's the, that's the difference between KCB and, and uh, KCB Cabras and the rest the of the teams. teams. Uh, can you, real quick, uh, how do you see this panning? Who is going to leave the title? Let Just to pick where Ken has left off. Uh, um, I had a conversation with Olago last week also, and uh, uh, it, was a, it was just a casual conversation, and he was talking about how their development coach is following up on what is happening right now mm -hmm. in every region. Uh, remember last weekend, uh, the regional uh, school games were coming to, to a close before the nationals, mm -hmm. and they have coaches you know, going to these top schools, uh, going to Eastern, going to Western, going to Nyanza, and trying to support players that they can now nurture through the system. That is what makes the difference. Of course, the, the lesser teams do not have the budget to, to support such a big team. Uh, how I see this final panning out, I did not expect um, the semi-final between uh, KCB and I Meninga Oilers to be that close. I was, uh, I was watching that final uh, while also doing uh, my show, and you, can, you could tell that Meninga Oilers were they really believed they could beat KCB. And bar for a few errors, especially in the final third, uh, in the final 22, uh, in KCB's, I mean KCB's uh, 22, Menengai Oilers would have beaten uh, KCB. Menengai Oilers created more uh, try scoring opportunities in this match more than uh, KCB. Mm. But having said that, of course, um, every team, uh, KCB gets better when they face Cabras. Cabras uh, has been, you know, sport, I mean, they've been. Excellent this season. So whom do you tip to win? <laughs> I <laughs> know. Win? Cabras, Cabras. Cabras. Oh, yes, I tip Cabras. <laughs> is it a really um, in a um, I think Cabras is going to take this home. Mm. Um, as uh, they've already said everything, the structure, they have good structure, they have good uh, uh, feeding high school uh, teams. So for me, Cabras is going to take this home. And again, it's uh, now a question to KCB. Do we want to be, Cabras to be nominating all these uh, uh, Bragi Cup, uh, Kenya Cup all the time? Mm. So because this is going to be their third time um, uh, lifting this. So for me, again, it's um, it's just that, um, and then the other teams, again, we need to see um, 
what they're go doing wrong so that they, we don't have to be seeing cabras and uh, and, one, KCB and KCB and the, yes dominating these. So they mm -hmm. have to come up with even them with the structures and look going out. I say I always say all the teams here in Kenya should have a marketing at a marketing a department. marketing department mm -hmm. whereby you go out and look for funds so that you can do what you can fund your your what your 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 team. So for me, I think if if someone says it's about funds, I'm like you have to have you have to have a sharp mind on how you can get what uh, revenues to your team. So for me, um. I Again, I'm looking. This is gone. Let's look for the next. Um, next. <laughs> next <laughs> it it, don't write KCBO. It's not gone. It is not. Gone. It, is not it is very. <laughs> <good>. <laughs> is it like Cabras have the advantage of being at home, <laughs> but, but, but KCB is they actually they a very tough team. That is one thing that you know. They cannot be beaten at home in Kakamega. <laughs> the, the last one was very close. Uh, the last one was very close. It will be bargaining like ah, KCB can do it because um, it, it is going to be a very <laughs> tough final. But bring this new perspective. There is a team from Okunda called South Coast Pirates mm. who are coming into Kenya Cup and actually they're just the second team. And Impala are back by the way. And Impala also Impala are back actually. They're meeting in the final. Yes. Basically the dynamism and what it means for Coast Region. Very quick, let me say that I listened to Kato, uh, Coach Kato, uh, and they said that he was disappointed with the score they, had, they gave, no scripts. <laughs> <laughs> That was 37, 9. Nine. Look at it. And he says, he we didn't play feet. well. He wanted 50 and above. That Cabras for you going to the final. So when Zita is saying that it's gone, it's gone. really, you, you feel that, because I listened even the tone, it was like, we didn't play well. You, that's a team that that's has gone to the yeah. final. Come to the question that we are, you have asked, Twitter. You see, I said again here, they said that uh, nobody is talking about homeboys, uh, what has happened to them. And the question, mm. idea of sustainability and funding models of these teams. Because uh, you see, uh, the pirates are coming, but the question is how well are they funded? How well are they ready even to face the big giants? This time around is not going to be the usual uh, victims. They, 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 they just thrash. No, no, this time is going to be Cabras, is going to be, to be Harlequin, is going to be yeah. to KCB. So we want to see how they're going to do it. I believe that uh, KRU, because of the, the, the kind of problems we'll be having, teams like Homeboys coming and dropping again and again, there should be a funding model that is supposed to take care of some of these teams, apart from the individual responsibility. You see that comes with uh, a club, get sponsored and all that. Because uh, if a league is marketed well, and maybe there is a title sponsor, mm -hmm. then there's a way that you can give something little at least for some of these teams. Because it's a pride when you have teams like South, Co uh, South Pirates coming, mm -hmm. so that you are spreading the game, not only in uh, Western and Nairobi, but also having in, it in the coast. Yeah. yeah, and we hope we can have a, a good rugby stadium in Okunda. <laughs> and by the way, there was that proposal, of course, uh, that has been quashed because it's already been confirmed that the Atlanta Stadium is being built at Jamaica. Mm -hmm. But it's a beautiful thing to see South Coast Pirate coming up because now you're going to have a game in Kisumu, a game in Nakuru, mm -hmm. a game in Kakamega, mm -hmm. and a game in the coast, mm -hmm. and also the central region. Actually, so it, it's beautiful to see the game see, expanding. See, Swila loves driftwoods <laughs> so much. <laughs> when it comes to... I, <laughs> Now there is there are two options. <laughs> Apart from the big food, actually, <laughs> 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 the enterprise cup. You should now is going to be something <laughs> different. You should now shift to South Coast Pirates. South Coast. Yeah. At least the authorities now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, <laughs> this must be. Uh, let's go to hey. Malawi Lilongwe and Michael Mikolunga was in sparkling form, hitting a brace as Arambi stars extinguish the flames 4-0 as they gear up for the World Cup uh, qualifiers. But the question is, can they maintain this momentum? Mm -hmm. Kianda, real, real quick, can stars uh, build on this as they head to World yes. Cup first? Yes, they can do that because the teams that they faced in this tournament, uh, some of them have played in the African Cup of Nations. We're going to play against Ivory Coast. I'm hoping Nya will be ready. Because everyone wants to see the African champions mm -hmm. in Kenya. I'm saying, I'm hoping I yeah, will be ready because Kasarani is under renovation. But mm -hmm. it's a good build up towards the African Cup of Nations qualifiers and the World Cup. And we've stated themselves, ourselves against Zambia, it's quite a good team. Malawi is also a good team. And I think um, the momentum and the transition. Is smooth. Uh, last week you saw how Injun Ferrat was uh, angry. He was very angry and said, but things have to be put in place. We need to have proper structures where we can monitor the growth of talent and the production of talent in the country. So I think, I think he has a good plan for the national team. I think he has a good plan. From that press conference, he has a good plan and he's following up on talent development. So what I can say is um, 
it's a good test for us and we are headed in the right direction. Uh, Real quick, Zita. Rising starlet lost yesterday and they became... Rising stars. Yeah, rising uh, stars. Sorry, mm -hmm. not starlets. Mm -hmm. Rising stars uh, lost yesterday and um, again um, uh, uh, against the, uh, uh, the home team. Uh, you know it's very hard to play and then we won again at the home team so again um it's uh, just coming back and then to the drawing table and see what we need to do for the our rising starlets of course they they became sick well Kuja, the second one with the silver so um arambe playing today they're going to play with um i hope they're going with a ment meaning mentality because the first game uh, having two, two sco scoring two goals in five minutes that makes you make another the other team to be to to come out very strong because you saw after that the Malawi team started playing very good football. So for me, going into this and it looks like a final. Mm -hmm. So they have to be very strong and very ready for everything, and they have to start with again goals. When you go there, you start to to, to do a two, goals first, and then after that, so that you can settle in the, the game. See real quick, and I want you maybe you cover uh, football closely. Since Firat uh, came on board, he's been under fire, uh, whichever way you look at it. But what's his philosophy so far? If you look at how stars play, he's played a number of build ups, Qatar, name it, what's not, and so forth. But the question is Kianda raised the issue of the elephants, who are the African champions. Do stars really have a chance going by Firat's playing philosophy so far? They have a big chance. Uh, so will allow me to be the devil's advocate today as far as Firat is concerned. <laughs> I listened to the press conference and he was even angry at some of the uh, journalists who were asking questions. And the guy was just telling the painful truth about our football. Mm. What that guy does, he has brought very high standards to us. And because we're not used to those high standards, we think he's, uh, he's, he's not you know, coming to the reality of Kenyan football. You, you, uh, you hear him asking questions like, do you know the statistics about a certain player? Mm. Uh, you see, uh, he asked you a, a question like, do we have uh, any youth program you know, in our football in this country? Where do we get those good players? You don't have a youth program. Now, you look at how they play against Malawi. Malawi has been a, a team that is improving. You look at the friendlies we have played before against Russia, you know, Qatar and all that. Eh? And then you, you, you can easily say that you can match Cote d'Ivoire on a good day. When Stars was winning 4 0 against um, Malawi last weekend, Benin was drawing Cote d'Ivoire, they do. And, and so I was like, uh, it's possible that uh, Kenya can, can do something against uh, Cote d'Ivoire. The most important thing Kenya has, has raised, and it is our duty as journalists, sports journalists to say, mm -hmm. is what if he had said that day during that presser. He said that a lot of promises have been made, including there was a promise that Kenya is supposed to play a top European football, footballing country before those matches. Mm -hmm. I don't know whether it's going to happen. France had been mentioned, I don't know. Italy. Italy had been mentioned. Yes. But the question of stadia. You see, uh, Kinyua, yes. the, the, it's so painful when Harambe starts to have to take the match to either Dali Saram or to Morocco oh. somewhere because we don't have a stadium lady. Ask me the question. Now, today we are, we are, we are almost to, it's rolling into April. Mm -hmm. Now, stadium is hosting all manner of events without going into details. Mm -hmm. Therefore, renovation has not been done. Kasarani is a construction site, at least until next year. So looking at the three months that are remaining, then you, we, we feel that we could go and play outside. The, the question of uh, winning against Cote d'Ivoire then is going to be something different. But now, very fast, I say that uh, today, I saw the score that uh, the coach assembled against Malawi. Very good replacement for the likes of Abu Domar and Eric Jona who missed. <laughs> I, I, was in, I, <laughs> I was impressed with Ayub Timbe. Ayub Timbe. Uh, the way he was playing. Yeah. And also Olunga coming up and showing that indeed he's uh, something. So we wish Harambe Sazo the best. And uh, I think Virat needs support. And I think you see, uh, uh, it's unfortunate that... Uh, in you in 10 seconds. Yes. It is unfortunate that we, we are afraid of calling out what is happening uh, at Nyao National Stadium because of our national, uh, you know, uh, I'd say how we are set up as a country and in terms of, our, you know, top leadership. Because Nyao National Stadium is, a, is home to crusades mm -hmm. nowadays. Mm -hmm. But you will not say that because you know the top officers are interested in that. Oh, but course. you need to then look at... We, we have to is it under, under, under sports? Time. Is it we under have sports raise, We have to raise for other... We have to look at it. Is it under you know. sports ministry? You have to go to that. Is it, is it a national... Is there, is there a ministry is it, that handles... <laughs> 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 It is a national because of time. Let's move on. And youths in Kajiado it's town, most profit. of whom are border border riders and mechanics, have now embraced football to help keep away from vices as well as stress related conditions with the region drug prone. The youth say the move to take up beautiful game as a pastime activity has helped shape the behaviors of many of their members. Our very own Robert Wamasai caught up with them and here 
is his story. At their workshop in Kajiado Town, Kajiado County, they are busy fixing motorbikes. Most of these young Kenyans were drug addicts, but they have reformed for the better. They do mechanic work to earn a living, and it is here that an idea was born to form a football team known as Kahanya FC, which currently competes in the FKF County League. <laughs> It all started last year. Most of the players had completed their secondary education and were involved in drug abuse. But just before they lost it all, they saw a Damascus moment. Ilianza mwakajana. Kipini na mbacho mavijana wengi, walio maliza shule. Walikuwa mejusisha sana sana kwa madawa za kulevi hapa kajado. Na ukiangalia masaka masa hii, vijana wengi wamekuja kwenye ground kuchiza mpira hapa. Nunapata saa hii vijana akili imefunguka akili kikazi wamefunguka akili kimaendeleo wamefunguka kitabia wako juu Every evening after work they congregate here at Ildamat Stadium for their training sessions the move they say has helped them keep away from drug abuse and other vices Zamani pia mimi nilikuwa napata matatizo walipokuwa wanakuja kazini wengi wanakuja walevi wanakuja hawawezi kazi ma wateja wanalalamika vile wanatengezewa magari zao lakini tangu nianzishe hapa kila mtu akija kazini anakuja akiwa soba anakuja akiwa na hamu ya kazi wanaari kitu wanazungumzia ni habari ya mipira na mechi zinazokuja mbele yao nimeona mabadiliko makubwa juu vijana sasa hivi wanafanya zoezi wanajituma so unakuta wame wamepuka kwa hiyo mambo ya mihadarati and just like any other job challenges abound they cite high cost of living as a major impediment to their trade but the beautiful game of football comes as a relief an avenue to bury their sorrows tukitoka kazini pale garage to mambo labda kama imekaa vibaya ukikuja kucheza mpira hayo mambo unayasahau unapata tu friend na inaja jioni kifika tunakuja hapa kwa kiwanja Tunacheza tu vizuri tunapiga zoezi yetu na tunafurahi For now they depend on the goodwill of soul well wish mzee Mohamed Kahanya to cater for their activities they are now calling for the more financial support as they eye promotion to the top flight league hopeful that one day they will attain their dream Hizi timu za mtaa kijana anagaramika akikumbuka anafaa kutoa fedha akacheze awe aina mlemea tena anafaa lipe referee eh, ajigaramie viatu na mpira ni expensive lakini tukiwa na wafadhili hata wawili watatu washike ah, teams zitazidi vijana wataunuka watu wenzangu wafanye biashara wenzangu pia na wapa challenge vijana ni wengi hapa Kajado wanajihusisha na hii hali ya mihadarati unywaji pombe waanzishe vilabu kama hivi itawapatia vijana changamoto manduku zetu wengine pia wana biashara wengine pia washike mkono hii mzee waendeshe ndio kizazi yetu ikue bora it is here in Ildamat stadium where they train every evening after work in order to better their skills to remain afloat in just on going county league reporting for sporty monday from kajiado county my name is robert masai Robert Masai there with a fantastic feature in Kajado. And of course, right now it's time to cross over and go to Bonn, Germany and link up with Jacob Safari from our partner TV station, Deutsche Welle. And of course, Jacob Safari today has his name second. Jacob is here to take over that segment. Is here? Shukran Jidan uh, Swila na sasa hivi tushachupa upande wa pili ambapo ni Bon eh, kwa ajili ya uchanganuzi wa ndani kabisa kuhusiana na, na Bundesliga lakini kwa leo basi ikiwa ni tofauti kidogo maana yake ligi ilipigwa break kwa sababu ya mechi za kimataifa na ikawa ni timu zenyewe za taifa zikicheza na Ujerumani ikawa katika ngoma eh, somo yangu Jacob Safari Ujambo Unaona si jambo Jacob unaendeleaje Mambo ni halwa halwa. Karibu sana katika gumzo hili na mwanzo tumesema kwamba break ilipigwa ya mechi za Bundesliga. Kwa hivyo ikawa sana tunaangazia upande ambao ni watibu wa taifa na ikawa ni mechi ya kirafiki Ujerumani mawili, Ufaransa sifuri. Hii mechi inaonesha mwamko mpya katika timu ya taifa ya Ujerumani? Asante Jacob. Um, ushindi kwa kweli huu waliopata Ujerumani naweza kusema ni ushindi mkubwa lakini 
siwezi kusema moja kwa moja kwamba ulikuwa ni mwamko mpya kuipiga Ufaransa si mchezo kwa kweli kwa sababu Ufaransa katika kipindi cha kama miaka Uh, kama kumi hivi naweza kusema iliyopita imekuwa katika kiwango cha juu sana cha kandanda imefika finali mbili za kombe la dunia kwa hiyo na ukija upande wa Ujerumani imekuwa ni tofauti imekuwa chini kabisa katika kiwango chake cha kandanda katika kipindi hicho kwa hiyo sasa hivi inatokea kwamba Ujerumani inaipiga Ufaransa ambayo ilitoka tu kucheza finali ya kombe la dunia ni ushindi mkubwa kwa kweli uh, kocha Julian Nagelsmann yeye alikuwa amesema kwamba wanaingia katika mechi hiyo na lengo lao kubwa ilikuwa ni kutaka kuhakikisha kwamba wanapata ule motisha wanapata kujiamini na hata lengo la mapema kabisa walilifunga kupitia uh, Florian Witz katika sekunde ya saba ya mechi hiyo uh, Nagelsmann anasema kwamba ilikuwa ni mbinu ambayo walikuwa wamejiandaa nayo na kwa kweli alipoho, alipoona kwamba imefanikiwa katika uh, mapema kabisa katika uh, mechi hiyo akajua kwamba mambo yatakuwa mazuri na kocha Ufaransa naye Didier Deschamps yeye akasema kwamba Ujerumani walicheza kwa hali ya juu sana walicheza mpira wa hali ya juu kwa hiyo naweza kusema kwamba ulikuwa na ushindi mkubwa lakini uh, swala la kwamba ni mwamko mpya nafikiri litahitaji muendelezo matokeo haya mazuri kwenda mbele Jacob Safari Ujerumani kama timu ambayo iko kwenye mpito wachezaji wengine wakidondoka wengine wapi wakirejea lakini kuitwa kwa Tony Cruz katika timu tena baada ya kustaafu na akawa pia amechangia katika mechi hii kuna zungumzia nini timu hii kuelekea katika michuano ya Euro kwanza kabisa ni sema kwamba kuitwa kwa Tony Cross katika kikosi hiki cha Ujerumani kulileta uh, kulileta msisimko mkubwa sana si tu katika timu hii bali Ujerumani alipotangaza tu Tony Cross kwamba anarudi katika timu ya taifa baada ya kustaafu kwa miaka mitatu uh, mitandao ililipuka hapa Ujerumani naweza kukwambia kwa sababu Tony Cross ni mchezaji ambaye anapendwa mno hapa Ujerumani tangu enzi zake akichezea uh, Bayern Munich paka sasa hivi yuko Real Madrid na nafikiri ilikuwa ni ushindi mkubwa hasa kwa kocha Julian Nagelsmann kujaribu kumshawishi Tony Cross kurudi tena katika timu ya taifa kwa sababu yeye ndio kiungo ambaye naweza kusema pale katika kiungo cha kati walikuwa wanamkosa pakubwa kwa sababu Ujerumani Uh, katika karatasi inaonekana kwamba ina wachezaji wazuri sana lakini wanapoingia wanchani walikuwa hawaingilia ni vizuri ile miguu na walikuwa wanahitaji mchezaji kama Tony Cross ambaye ana utulivu ana ubunifu ana jicho kama la moyo ukipiga mikimbio yeye ashakuona tayari ana kutupia pasi kwa hiyo walikuwa wanamhitaji sana huu mchezaji na kurudi kwake bila shaka itakuwa ni ushindi mkubwa na ushindi kwa uh, kocha Julian Nagelsmann na umuhimu wake ulionekana hasa katika mechi ya kwanza hiyo kwa sababu pasi ile ya uh, katika sekunde ya saba ambayo uh, Florian Witz alifunga goli ilitolewa na yeye Tony Cross kwa ni mchezaji muhimu sana na uh, nafikiri ni uh, ataipeleka Ujerumani mbali kwa kweli Right na tayari kuna mechi ambayo inakuja baada ya Ufaransa sasa ni timu ya Uholanzi najua kwamba ni mibabe tofauti lakini tayari kuna mshawasha kutokana na ushindi wa Ufaransa inasemwaje huko ndani ya Ujerumani eh, kwa, kwa, kwa kweli hiyo mechi inatarajiwa iwe ni mechi yenye msisimko mkali sana kwa sababu uh, ni, ni, ni Uholanzi ni timu ambayo pia ni timu nzuri unaona ilipata ushindi mkubwa sana dhidi ya Scotland katika mechi yao iliyopita na inacheza mchezo tofauti kabisa na ukilinganisha na Ufaransa. Ufaransa mchezo wao kidogo wanaogemeza kwa mchezaji mmoja Kylian Mbappe. Kylian Mbappe asipocheza vizuri basi timu ya Ufaransa kuna uwezekano mkubwa sana wa kupoteza mechi. Lakini ukija kwa timu ya Uholanzi inacheza kama timu. Wacheza, hakuna mchezaji mmoja ambaye unaweza kusema kwamba anategemea zaidi akikosekana basi uh, hakuna uh, timu haiwezi kupata ushindi. Kwa hiyo Ujerumani lazima wabadilishe mbinu wanapo wanapoelekea kucheza na Uholanzi hapo kesho na natarajia hili lifanyike. Uh, kuhusiana na kikosi wapo kitabadilisha pakubwa sidhani lakini mbinu lazima kocha Julian Nagelsmann aweze kuzibadili uh, ili aweze kukabiliana na hii timu ya taifa ya Uholanzi ambayo nayo pia ina wachezaji wakubwa sana wana ushiriki katika ligi hizi 
karibu tano kubwa za za Ulaya. Kwa hiyo itakuwa ni changamoto nyingine na iwapo Ujerumani watatoa ushindi katika mechi hiyo basi naweza kusema kwamba itakuwa ni nchi ya nzuri kuelekea mashindano ya Euro sababu itakuwa katika kipindi cha majira ya joto hapa hapa nchini Ujerumani. Kwa upesi kabisa safari tukimalizia Bundesliga inarejea weekend hii na wajua kwamba wachezaji wengi sana ndio wamecheza katika timu za taifa hizi. Tutarajie nini? Mambo ni yale yale pale kwa Bayer Leverkusen na Bayern Munich pale kileleni? E, kwa kweli e, kutakuwa nafikiri jumamosi hii na ama mwishoni mwa wiki hii nafikiri itakuwa ni weekend kubwa sana kwa e, kandanda la Ujerumani la Bundesliga kwa sababu ukizingatia kwamba Bayer Leverkusen watakuwa nyumbani uwanjani Bayer Leverkusen wakiwalika TSG Hoffenheim hiyo itakuwa ni mechi ngumu kweli kweli lakini e, kwa sasa hivi hatutarajii Leverkusen awe na mechi rahisi e, anajua kwamba hichi kiunzi cha Hofena makisha kivuka basi itakuwa amewavunja moyo pakubwa sana Bayern Munich ambao hiyo hiyo Jumamosi utakuwa unacheza Der Klassiker na Borussia Dortmund kwa hiyo nafikiri mwishoni mwa wiki hii tutarajie kwamba labda mwanya unaweza kuongezeka sasa hivi ni mwanya uh, mwanya kati ya Bayern Leverkusen na Borussia uh, na Bayern Munich ni pointi kumi. unaweza kuongezeka ukafikia pointi kumi na tatu lakini uh, watakapocheza Dortmund na Bayern Munich kule uh, Bavaria unaweza kupunguka ukarudi pale pale na pia huwezi jua Borussia Dortmund wanaweza kushangaza Bayern Munich si mara ya kwanza Bayern Munich msimu huu kushangazwa katika uwanja wao wa nyumbani lakini sasa hivi washaipata ile fomu yao na wachezaji waliokuwa kwenye majeraha washaanza kurudi sasa hivi kwa hiyo na mara nyingi Dortmund katika miaka hivi karibuni wamekuwa wateja wa Bayern Munich wakienda hasa kule e, Bavaria wamekuwa kifungo kwa urahisi sana sijui mambo yatakuwaaje siku ya Jumamosi siwezi kutabiri lakini nafikiri Bayern Munich kwa kumgumu mbele katika mechi hiyo lakini sioni kama kutakuwa na mabadiliko makubwa sana labda pengo linaweza kusalia lile lile la pointi kumi kwa maana ya kwamba Bayern Leverkusen wapate ushindi na, bo, na, na, na Bayern Munich nao pia waweze kupata ushindi Right kabisa basi huyo ni safari je kwa somo yangu akiwa moja kwa moja madini akiyatema kiwa kule upande wa Bonn ni katika sehemu yetu ya gumzo la Bundesliga. Sasa hivi tunarejea Nairobi mambo ni halwa halwa mpaka wiki kesho safari bye bye. Asante asante sana aisee ukiwa kule Bonn Ujerumani na tathmini ya Bundesliga na bila shaka kabumbu ya Wajerumani. Let's now switch gears and we are asking you today question of the day what memories do you have of the WRC what memories do you have of the WRC uh, SMS 22422 uh, Monday. you can also x us at Isaac Swila at Zin TV Kenya and of course we will be sampling your feedback at the tail end of this program now let's shift gears a little bit to what you love